Um, hello, so today we are going to do problems from BioCalc Contest 100. So the first problem is distribute money to maximum children. Um, yeah, just a warning, this is actually one of the like more, more annoying, easy problems. Um, yeah, you can see by the uh, number of dislikes here. Um, the problem says we have money, uh, an integer money, denoting the amount of money in dollars uh, that you have. and um, you have also a number of children, right? And the goal is to distribute this money to to these children in a in a specific, with with some conditions he outlined here. So the first one is that money must be distributed, all of it, um, can't have any remaining. The second one is every child should receive at least one dollar. You should we shouldn't have one that is left without with nothing, right? Um, the second thing is that the last thing is that no child should receive exactly four dollars so either more or less right um and the goal of the problem is to maximize the number of children that receive exactly eight dollars right while keeping these conditions valid or true right um and if we are not able to do that we want to return minus one okay so that's roughly what the problem is um, okay, so how can we solve this? So let's take the first example, right? Where we have money is equal to 20 and we have children is equal to 3, right? So the first thing we should note is there are a, a couple of um, of edge cases that we can handle right away. So um, the first one is that the first condition is that every child need to have at least one. So from the get-go, let's just take the money and subtract the number of children because that means basically giving each child uh, one, right? Now, if after doing this, the value of money is zero, is less than zero, that means we weren't able to give each child one. So that already means we violated one of the conditions. So we immediately return minus one in this case, right? Um, so that's the first thing. So here, if it's less than zero, let's just return minus one. Okay. Now, if it's if it's not if 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 it's still bigger than zero, what should we do? Well, we want to maximize getting eight, right? This is what we want to do, right? And so what we, what we can do is just, for example, in this twenty, the first thing we do is subtract three. We are left with seventy, right? So the first the, the second thing we need to do is see. Okay, this. We want to give each child eight, but we already gave them one by subtracting here. So we want to just see how many sevens we have, because the number of sevens we have, that means th that's the number of children that will get eight, right? And so to do that, we can just check if um, if the, mm, the money left, right, divided by seven is equal to the number of children, right? And it's exactly equal, ex basically, if it's exactly equal, which means base, if we divide by seven, we g it's equal to the number of children, but the remaining money is zero, right? The remaining money, which is modulo seven, is equal to zero, right? Then in this case, that means we can give eight to each child. Now, just to clarify again, why are we doing this specific piece here? Well, because we have to distribute all the money. That's the uh, first condition. Distribute all the money. Okay? And so we already get rid of, we already handled this case. We already handled the case where uh, every child can get eight. Right? We divide by seven because we already gave each child one here. Okay? Okay, so once we do that and we take care of it, the second thing is we want to handle this. So we handle this condition. We handle conditions more than zero. The one other condition is that no child should get four dollars. Okay. And so in what case will only one child get four dollars? It's if we have, let's say we have here three children. If we give them each eight. Right. And let's say the we have remaining maybe um, three. Right. In this case. If we can, if we keep these at 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 eight both, then this one will become four, which is invalid. So we want to prevent this case. Now, how does this case? But if if there because if this case happens, we wanna 
add one to this one to become nine and make this one just three. And so we will only end up with one eight instead of two. Right? And so we'll just need to take this case because in the other case, if we have eight and one one, it's fine because with three, we can just give this one maybe two and give this one one, right? It's only the case where it's only one left. And so to do that, well, how do we check that? Let's just check if money divided by seven. So the case that I was mentioning is three children and both something like this. You can apply it to, to like more children, but essentially it's all except one have eight dollars. So if, which basically all except one is just children minus one, right? And the money left is three, right? So is three because um, if it's three, then if we add it here, it's th if it's three, if we add it here, we get four. That's what we want to prevent. So and money left, which is modulo, which is seven, is equal to three. That means we are in this problem. And so how many children we can give eight? We have to give this one nine so that this one can be just three instead of four. And so we'll end up just with one. And so instead of ending up with children minus one having eight, we'll end up with just children minus two. Because one of them gets this, to generalize it, we can just do children minus two because one of the children will end up, instead of having eight, it will end up having nine so that this one doesn't have four, right? So in this case, we want to return uh, children minus two, okay? Initially, it would be, uh, sorry, min uh, yeah, minus two exactly. Because initially, it would be, it would have been just children minus one, but because we have left three, we have to take one of them and give it one dollar so that the other one doesn't have four. Now, if those cases are, so this takes care of the case where we want to prevent having four dollars. Now, otherwise, then how many children will have eight? Well, it's just either children minus one if we have enough money or it's money divided by seven, right? So it's just the minimum of money divided by seven or children minus one, right? You may say, why not children? Because ch we will have exactly children having eight only if we have this condition. Basically, divi divisible by seven, when we divide by seven, we get the number of children and the remaining is zero. Otherwise, if the money, if any money is left, then we would have to uh, give it to one child. So we'll end up with children minus one. So here is just going to be a min of money divided by seven, right? So this tells us how many children we can get with this money or children minus one, because if money divided by seven, let's say, let's say we have three here, children three. And so this value would be to eight. Let's say the remaining money divided by seven, let's say maybe gives us um, four, right? So that means already, um, that means we, we will need to have two because, um, because, um, because there is more money. And so one of the children, right, will need to, um, will need to get extra money. So the, whatever, how much money is, we'll need to give it to one of the child. So instead of eight, it will have like 20 or 14. So that's the idea here. I hope that was clear. Um, so this is just sort of a case by case um, handling here, um, and and you just need to to do it a case by case. Um, if you did it with um, eight instead of like first giving each one one, it's going to be more tricky with more edge cases. Uh, but with this way and just handling each condition in each if um, gives us a, an easier solution. Um, yeah, so let's implement this and make sure it passes. Um, okay, so let's implement the solution that we just saw in the overview. So first we need to do money minus number of children. And now if we get smaller than zero, that means we can't achieve, we can't give every child at least one dollar. Now if money divided by seven is equal to the number of children, that means each child can get eight. But we need to make sure there is no extra money left because we have distributed all of it. And so if we, so we, if it's nothing left, it's exactly seven for each child in addition to this one. That means all of them get eight. And so we can just return the number of children. Otherwise, if money divided by seven is 
exactly children minus one so this means that all except one will have um will have eight now if the remaining is three that means the last one will get four so we don't want to do that which means basically we want to give children minus two each eight but the the one before the last one we give it nine so that the last one gets just three and not four and so that's what we do here with children minus two now at the end we just take the min of whatever money the remaining money can give can how basically how many eight it, it can get but we the upper bound is children minus one because if there is more money um, then one of the children will have to get more than eight right and so that's what we have here now let's run this um, this is equal yeah. now submit and looks like it passes in terms of time complexity you can see here this is just each one iteration so it's of one time and also of one space because we are not using an extra space right of one time of one space um yeah so that's pretty much it for this problem please like and subscribe and see you on the next one bye